I got on a bit of a film rampage recently. Shouldn't be allowed to use eBay. I got way too much stuff and I found some more stuff in my backyard just hanging out. So, um, quick rundown. It's a Nikon EM. It's mostly manual. Automatic shutter speed. This particular one is broken, so I have to use it in 1 90th of a second mode or bulb. That kind of sucks, but oh well. Other than that, works. Next, I've got Nikon N50. This one is a little bit of both. It's electronic, uh, not digital, still film, not digital, but it's uh, electronic, so yeah. And uh, so that's that. And then in my backyard, I found these two. This one is a uh, Nikon One Touch Zoom. It, uh, it's a little temperamental. See? There we go. But it's uh, motorized zoom, so that's cool. And wait for it. There it goes. So that's kind of cool. And surprisingly, it had a roll of uh, Kodak Max 400 in it. 12 exposures. That's... I don't know what's on this. I have no clue. It was used. It's all taken out. So that's weird. And then this. The Spirit SP Panorama. It, it's, uh... Not the highest quality. Very cheap. Fully mechanical. So... Yeah, absolutely no controls on this. Literally, you just wind it up and you take a shutter. It's... It, it's that's it. Uh, focus free. And uh, it's panorama, and by panorama, all that means is it just <laughs> has little shutters on it. It's it's rough. Um, so that one, not too special. This one's kind of cool. I'm curious to see what uh, what's on that roll, but meh. Next, we've got the um, the endeavor that I went on. But before that, quickly, 3D printing. I love it. It's great. Uh, if you didn't know that I do that, I do that. So I've got a couple things that I printed. Um, so first off, it's a body cap for the, uh, the Nikon. It's exactly what you think. It's a body cap. It doesn't do much. Um, next is a little pinhole. If you can see, barely, there's a little tiny hole right in the middle of that. It's got some tin foil in it. So. There's that. It's a little pinhole uh, lens, sort of. Um, but yeah, so that's interesting. It's incredibly dark. Like, I haven't even bothered to calculate the f-stop of this, but it's probably insanely high. So there's that. And a lens back cap for this, uh, this lens. We've sorted out this is indeed a Canon lens. We weren't sure because it, we, it's just not labeled, and we weren't entirely sure, but yes, it is. Canon lens, broken, obviously. Um, really, really hard to get pictures with this. It it only has a, a, at least with the Canon to E mount that we have, it's got a range of maybe two centimeters from the lens to about a meter away. Anything closer or further than that, we can't focus on, because we can only focus at full extension because it's broken. So that that sucks. That's kind of rough. Um, there's the adapter. It, it's just this was actually for this camera for the Sony. Uh, it's an E mount, but we learned that by some strange stroke of luck, E mount fits Nikon, which is terrifying to say the least. But interesting otherwise. Um, so there's those. And then we've got these things over to the side. Um, yeah, so I've got a roll each that I took on the EM and on the um, N50. So that's cool. 36 exposures. It is... let me check. Uh, Fuji Color Superior Extra 400. I think it was like $13, $14 at Walmart for a triple pack. 400 ISO, uh, 36 exposures each roll, so 
eh, not too bad, it's a couple bucks each. Um, so that's cool. Not expecting phenomenal photos out of these because both of them were taken with this lens. I do have two more lenses coming in because eBay, and I, I need to be, I need to be stopped. I need to be stopped. I should not have access to eBay. Um, but I do have two more lenses coming in, so that's going to be interesting. Next is the insane endeavor that I went on. I decided to shove instant film into these 35mm cameras and got some interesting results, to say the least. I don't know if, uh, it's something, right? Like, it's... It's something. And then we've got my second test, which, you know, again, there's that one. That one's, you know, another blur. Same with that one. And that one. And that one. But then, then we got this one. This one actually came out surprisingly it's, this is like the first photo that I actually took. It's almost impossible to tell, but that is a picture of my little Logitech mouse. It's very hard to tell, but there's a shape and you can just barely see the word Logitech right about there. So that's kind of cool. Um, more that didn't do anything and one that was just, come on, black. So, yeah. And then, meh. So, yeah, um, the way that I'm basically doing this for that stack was getting the little caddy that they come in, sitting in the dark, pushing one out, sliding the film out, stuffing it into the back of the camera, it doesn't fit, doing that, holding it closed, walking up, taking a picture, sitting in the dark again, pulling it out. And if you don't know how instant film works, uh, let me grab one that's a little bit easier to see. That little gold bit there, right? That little like brown is brownish bronze color, that's the film. Above that is this black goo. That comes from this thick strip at the bottom. That's not just for labeling, that is actually has a purpose. Um, that has the developer on the inside. Normally when it prints it out, it would squish that rip it through and smush it across the back. This one obviously didn't go all the way through. And then it develops and it goes black to block any more light going through. That's how instant film works. There you go, magic crash course. Obviously it's not meant to be in these cameras. One second. Ah, batteries do be dying and all that. Um, oh yeah, if I sound like I'm rushing, I am. It's because I, it is currently 3.48 and I've got stuff that I gotta do, go do and I just saw three different messages. I haven't read any of them, but I've got three different messages that I gotta reply to and there's stuff going on today, so I gotta finish this so I can sit down, edit it, and get it out to you today. Um, oh, I have a website now, uh, kazuno.space. So that's fun. If you uh, want, I'll put a link to that and uh, card up there it should be. So. Next, I got this on this camera, which actually has a good bit more room to fit a piece of instant film. So, zoom in just a little bit. You can't tell. You know. Yeah, right? Right? That's, yeah, that's surprisingly, surprisingly good. I didn't even get it to develop all the way because I didn't mush the goop out far enough, which is why that is like that. So that's cool. Uh, this one didn't come out nearly as well, but that's just because I was completely in the dark and had no idea what I was doing and had to just use the flash on this. Also, this has a built-in flash, which is surprising. Uh, useful for when I'm doing stuff like this, but yeah, this is just, insanity and I have no idea what I'm doing. It's also really hard to get these developed right now because basically everywhere is closed because of the current state of the world that I'm not going to name. Everything is closed or incredibly delayed so I decided I'm going to try and develop myself. Um, 
I'm currently waiting on ordering the stuff to do that because I'm trying to not make so many impulsive decisions and buy stuff. Uh, oh, I didn't even mention. These each cost me like maybe 15 bucks delivered, which is insane. That's, that's crazy. Um, the lenses are about in the $20 each range, which is ironic that the lenses cost more than these nearly 50, 60 year old camera. Um, but oh well. So um, yeah, that's, that's that. I, I hope you have a great time. Stay safe. Go to the website, check it out. Um, there's also a Discord that will also be in the uh, card or in the description, one of the two, or both. Go join that and uh, send some memes, ask questions if you have any, and uh, yeah, have a great day. Stay safe.